Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and today we have some Call of Duty 4 of all games, but Call of Duty 4 is going to serve primarily as an example throughout the entirety of this video. I want to discuss with you guys for this video my billion dollar idea for Call of Duty. It's something I came up with back in February and a lot of people liked the idea at the time and it doesn't look like this idea is actually going to be implemented into Advanced Warfare. We touched on this on yesterday's Dear Nero and I figured we would go further with it here in today's video. So the idea I had back in February, was for all future Call of Duty games to have a random time of the day and a random weather generator. Take the power of next-gen technology and make games feel next-gen way more than just adding jetpacks and stuff like that to the game, right? So this is my idea for Call of Duty. You take a map. So let's take Crash here, for example. I have an idea for four different time of the days that this map would actually work out pretty well on. I'm figuring for the time of the day, we could have morning, we could have afternoon, we could have sunset, and we could have nighttime. Every time you load up the map, you have a 25% chance of every one of those happening. So every time you load up the map, there's a 1 in 4 chance it's going to be nighttime. There's a 1 in 4 chance that it could be daytime. There's a 1 in 4 chance that it could be morning time. You really never know. It's a crapshoot every single time you load up the map. And as for the weather, every time you load up the map, not only is it going to be a random time of the day, but there's also so random weather effects. Now, for example, there would be a 25% chance that's raining, a 25% chance that's sunny, a 25% chance that's snowing, and a 25% chance that maybe it's a little cloudy, a little gloomy out, a little overcast, maybe something like that, maybe foggy. I don't know. And of course, you can actually change that based upon what the maps actually are. Now, for example, if you go back to Grind, the DLC map from Black Ops 2, that map is set in Venice, California. We're not really going to be able to have snow on that map, but maybe give it a 5% chance on that map for snow to actually occur. So so it's a more fun, interesting thing for the player that if they get into one of those very rare games where it's actually snowing on grind, that'd be pretty cool. So through the power of different kinds of mods, I've been able to take Call of Duty Force Crash here on the PC and change it around a bit. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to actually walk through Crash and kind of show you guys different examples of how this could actually affect the map without actually affecting the map at all. So right now we're walking through Crash. And I always figured the original Crash, you know, playing vanilla Crash, was always set more in kind of like an afternoon setting, something like that. It, it doesn't look morning, it doesn't look sunset to me, it just looks like right now it's basically just kind of midday, afternoon, sometime afternoon, maybe 2 o'clock in the afternoon, something like that. But this is Crash, this is the exact same map that we have seen, uh, if you guys have been playing Call of Duty since Call of Duty 4, we've been seeing this map since 2007. They actually remade the map and put it into Modern Warfare 2, so we've been playing it even more because of that game, you know. Is again, it's a map that we all know and that we all love and we've seen it so many times that there's really nothing special about it anymore at this point. We just kind of look at it and we're like, yeah, that's Crash. It, uh, it looks alright. I mean, it's a fun map to play, but you know, it's Crash. We're all very, very used to it. Now, let's go and see what Crash would look like if our random time of the day generator were to occur and it were actually to be set in the morning. Now look at that there. Now suddenly... It looks like it's morning, or at least this looks morning is to me. You know, it looks like it's maybe you know nine o'clock in the morning or so. It looks like the sun just came up and it's on its way up there. It's kind of very early on in the day, and that's just why I feel like it is because of the colors of the map. You look over here, especially when I look at this building, it really reminds me of like a like an early morning, like not exactly sunrise, but the map itself reminds me of a sunrise feel. I like that. It's the exact same map. I mean, you look here, everything is, is in the exact same place. It's just the way the map looks is completely different. Now, imagine for a moment if in Advanced Warfare, every time you played on a map, there was a possibility of it being a different time of the day. It's the exact same map. It plays the exact same way, but it's just going to look different every single time. Of course, there would actually be weather implemented, but uh, there are mods apparently to implement different kind of weather effects, but goodness gracious... I am not good at that kind of stuff. It took me forever and a half to figure out how to install like a texture pack in the Minecraft. Can you? I was learning how to do console commands for crying out loud here to be able to make this video for you guys so I could change around uh, the, the lighting and everything else here within Call of Duty 4. And that was a pain. I spent a very long time on that. So hopefully you guys all see these examples I'm using in this video and you know, see, find them helpful and you guys can see different kind of cool things. And man, it took me forever to be able to do all of this. But basically, this is kind of like your, your sun rise kind of your early morning uh time of the day effect now let's go later on in the day let's check out what it would look like if it were suddenly sunset time hmm 
Now look at that there. It's very clearly a sunset time right now on the map, I would say, because you, you look at the way the sun is reflecting off the down helicopter, which is the entire reason this map is called Crash, is because there's a crash helicopter there in the very middle. It definitely looks sunset-esque to me, but once again, guys, it is the exact same map. There is nothing changed about it. All the cars are in the same locations. All the buildings are in the same locations. There's, no, there's nothing changed about the map in the slightest. This is why I run this same route every single time, one of these examples. It's the exact same map, it just looks way cooler. You know, it, you, you have your normal crash, which is fine, which is kind of like set in the afternoon, but here is, you know, sunset crash. You know, this is what it would look like if it came out during, you know, sunset time. This is what it would be like if, you know, we were to load up this map, and if it were to, you know, we were to get that 25% chance, if we were to get the uh, sunset time of the day, that'd be pretty cool. When you load up the map, you know, maybe the first time you ever play on crash, you know, you would, you know, you get kind of like a, an early morning time. Then maybe the next time you play, you get an afternoon time. And then the third time, you're like, oh, wow, dude. This is really cool. Now it's sunset time. It looks pretty cool. There's actually one more time of the day that we're yet to explore. If you guys have seen my original billion dollar idea video, you guys know what's coming. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Winter Crash. Winter Crash, ladies and gentlemen. So this map is actually exclusive to a PC. I didn't mod this at all. I didn't change around the, the lighting or I didn't change around the sky or I didn't change around anything. This is actually just a map that's built and it's specifically for... Uh, Call of Duty 4 on the PC, but it's Winter Crash, which is pretty freaking awesome in my opinion. So the entire point of this map is it's exactly the same as Crash, except it, it has a Christmas theme to it. It's nighttime and it's snowing, and there actually is one change to the map that could change the way the map plays, and that's this Christmas tree in the middle, because the Christmas tree is actually a solid object. You can't just kind of run through it, and it kind of obscures your view a little bit. So, you know, if they were to do something like this, just kind of imagine that Christmas tree not being there, because that actually does change the map slightly. But other than that, everything else is in the exact same place uh, your footsteps sound a bit different because it's snowing and you hear the sound of, uh, of a snow on the ground rather than you know you're walking through sand or dirt or something like that but aside from that it's really the exact same all the buildings have the exact same features except the lights that are already in the buildings on certain ones are actually turned on now because it's nighttime now it's a bit darker out you know so they made it so the lights that are inside the building are actually kind of turned on so it's not like all dark and shadowy in there and make it kind of hard to see now as you can see there's a snowman here but there's also like uh, Christmas lights kind of like wrapped around the trees on the outside of the map to kind of give it a bit more of a bright feel so you guys can actually see you know a little bit more about what's going on within the map. I think it's a really cool feature. I think it's something that's really cool that I really wish they would have implemented into the actual Call of Duty thing. This would be pretty cool. And this is kind of an example. This is the only example I have of what random weather could look like. Now, of course, it could not be snowing. Maybe it's, maybe it's raining instead. Maybe it's kind of overcast. Maybe it's just normal, normal sunshine out. You know, there's no overcast at all. It's just kind of bright and, you know... No clouds really in the sky at all. That could be a different weather possibility that we could have with this idea. But either way, I still think this is like the best idea for Call of Duty. And it's actually kind of interesting because two weeks after I made that video, we were like, I had a click the tweet campaign where we like kind of spammed like sending this to Infinity Ward and sending it to Sledgehammer Games and sending it to Treyarch saying, hey, please, this is a really cool idea. We would love for this to be implemented in all future Call of Duty games. We did that. And then two weeks later, Sledgehammer Games actually put on their website that, hey, they're looking for someone to work on a dynamic weather system in their advanced warfare game. So that could have been pretty cool. But as from what we've seen so far, guys, it doesn't look like it's actually going to be featured in the game at all. We, we haven't seen anything. You know, there's people that have been able to play the game. You know, they've gone to different events and stuff like that. And they have been able to play the game. They've been able to post footage of the game up on their channels. No one's mentioned anything even remotely similar to a dynamic weather system. And I said in yesterday's Dear Nero that it's a possibility that it is still in the game, that the idea of a random weather generator, random time of day generator, that both those could be within Advanced Warfare, and they're kind of like holding that off right now, and they're going to make it kind of like a surprise for people that bought the game. You know, they're going to buy it, and they realize it's in the game, and it's something that wasn't even advertised, but it seems like the kind of idea that should be advertised. So, there's a possibility it's there, but chances are it's probably not. Um... I don't know, it stinks that it's not, because there's a lot of you that think this is a pretty freaking cool idea. You know, I, I, there's only a few people. I think there's literally, like, a single handful, like, five people that, that I've seen, like, in the comments of my videos saying that this would be a bad idea for Call of Duty and that it wouldn't be awesome for them to have a random time of day and a random weather generator because somehow they couldn't balance it. Like, somehow there would be glitch spots within, you know, crash or something if it were randomly raining instead of, you know, just being normal. And it's like, that doesn't make any sense. You just had, that's not, that's not how coding works. You just change it around. 
bottom line, if if modders can do this and change around the maps, I mean, this is just people modding. This is just someone, you know, that has a passion for Call of Duty 4 that made all of this stuff. You know, that's all this is. And they were able to put it together, you know, and then all, all, I just had to go and download it and figure out how to use it. You know, it's something that even if people in the community can do this stuff, it'd be pretty freaking easy, I think, for Infinity Ward or Treyarch or Sledgehammer to be able to put this stuff together. So that is my idea. Uh, for those of you guys that didn't know my Call of Duty billion dollar idea that I came up with uh, back in February. It doesn't look like it's going to be implemented, but I think it will be pretty cool. And then I spent a long time last night figuring out how to install different kinds of mods so that you guys could see Crash. You know, you could see it as it is normally, kind of like in the afternoon. You can also see a sunset version, a sunrise version, as well as a nighttime version. So hopefully you guys all found that cool and helpful. And uh, here towards the end of the video, I just kind of, I downloaded a bunch of different skies because it's very, uh, that was actually the only simple part was changing around the skies on the map. So you can just change around and be wherever sky you there's even this green screen sky that uh, kind of allows me to put whatever I want there, which is kind of cool. All I got to do is chroma key out the green, and I can put whatever I want there, and it looks like the sky is wherever I want to make it. So I thought that was pretty cool. But regardless, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys all found it uh, helpful and informative about my idea. It doesn't look like it's going to be implemented into Advanced Warfare, but... Hey, we tried, and I hopefully you guys found the video entertaining nonetheless. So, hope you guys did enjoy the video, and if you did, please be sure to leave a rating. Hope you guys all... Have a wonderful day.